With the weather we've been having lately, you probably haven't put a lot of thought into your golf game. In fact, overall, fewer people across the country are even taking up the game lately. Yet, as Kelloland's Casey Wannenberg shows us in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, many area businesses in Sioux Falls have seen the numbers of golfers increase and that they insist is money in the bank. Welcome, Casey. Thanks for having us, Brittany. Or so, having me, Brittany. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, seeing golf decrease around the country, but here it's actually increasing. Why is that? Um, they th think it's because of all the events that are going on and all the several new businesses going on. Of course, we have Sanford in International. The Symmetra Tour has been making stops here. And then uh, Sanford is building a new facility, too, where you'll be able to play golf year-round soon, which Ooh. is exciting. Yeah, that's very exciting. During these wintry months, right? So how did you decide to do this story? I noticed that there does seem to be more enthusiasm about golf in our area and wondered if retailers are also seeing that. So I went to Ostad's and checked in with them and they said, yeah, we're seeing more business. In fact, we're planning two more stores just this year, one in Rapid City and one in Sioux Falls. And how does that impact our community? I think it impacts our community because, you know, of course, business means more money in the bank. We have Sanford International, which is bringing in people from all over, and people across the world are seeing Sioux Falls uh, on TV through the Golf Channel with Sanford International. So that really impacts our community, too, because more people are seeing Sioux Falls, better for our economy, hopefully. And a lot of businesses are now doing golfing events. Why is that? Just, you know, more enthusiasm, I think, around it. You know, uh, it catches on. So by opening these two new locations for Osteds, what are they hoping to see? Obviously more customers, right? But they're also finding, trying to find a niche in the market as well. They're doing more customization and trying to find the club that best works for you. So they have different studios that they have set up where they can personalize, you know, your club. And right now we're looking at some video from your story and um, it looks like they were just showing video of where the great shots will be, what Sanford is bringing. Tell me a little bit more information about this facility. So this will have a restaurant. It will also have an interactive golfing range, heated golfing range. So hopefully you'll be able to play year round there. Um, and they're hoping just to really get people excited about the sport here. There, one of the Osteds locations that I was mentioning will be in that facility as well. And then the Sanford Power Golf Academy will be located there. So do you have to have a membership to participate at this facility or how does it all work? I, they, they're still working out some of the details on that, so stay tuned. Did they say when it would be completed? I believe uh, it's around Thanksgiving. Okay. So around Thanksgiving time. So you mentioned that you talked to Osteds about this. Did you talk to anyone else during the story? I talked to Osteds, I talked to some golfers, and I talked to Sanford, both uh, Sanford International and then also Sanford Power Golf Academy. So what did you find surprising when putting this story together? I think I was just surprised at how much Osteds is growing. Of course, we've heard about Sanford International, and I'm going to be talking about some of the changes to Sanford International too this year in my story. But yeah, we've heard about a lot of the events, the Symmetra Tour, Great Life, but was just surprised and glad to hear that a local retailer is adding locations and seeing more customers than it ever has had before. And especially with retail spots, because you hear a lot about, you know, the Amazon age and people shopping online. So it's exciting when a local retailer is still op able to open up new locations. Now, we don't want to give too much away from your story that right. we can see tonight. <laughs> but when you said the Sanford International, some changes being made, can you give us a few hints? Yes, they, they said, if you remember last year, there, we had a lot of rain, but they were still very excited about the crowds that we, they had on those days when it wasn't rained out. And they were surprised at how large of crowds. So they're going to have more spectator friendly events, hopefully more food there and um, just things for people to do aside from golf at the event too. Overall, did you get a feeling of how they felt, how this first tournament went? I mean, besides the rain right. and a few cancellations. Uh, th they said they were excited, but they think there's room to grow too. There's ways to uh, improve it and make it kind of a one of a kind event that will draw people in from all over the country. And some of the golfers that you mentioned that you talked to and spoke to for this interview, what did you learn from them? That, that they're still excited about 
golf and they think that Sioux Falls is a great community to do that, then they also mention that they believe it's cheaper to golf here than in some communities, you know, because of great life and the memberships through that, that they believe it's cheaper here. So that might be another reason why we're seeing more golfing in the community. Have you seen any trends as far as age categories, like a growth in the youth or is it in older adults? When I was talking to Osteds, one surprising thing they said is that they're seeing more younger female golfers. And hmm. maybe that's because of the Symmetra Tour or just seeing more younger females excited about the game. Do you play golf? I don't, <laughs> but I should take it up. My husband says I talk too much to be a golfer. <laughs> oh yeah, you're not supposed to talk. I learned that the hard way, that when people are golfing and they're getting ready to swing, you are not supposed to talk apparently. Yes, yes. And you're supposed to be quiet on the golf. I always got told to shh, mm -hmm. to But be quiet. at Stanford's new facility there, they, some of it's supposed to be all about having fun, you know, the restaurant there and everything like that and being a social thing. So, you know, maybe that'll fit for us. <laughs> Is that part of the focus of the two businesses to change that image of golf? Yeah, they, w when I mentioned to Austin saying about, you know, I, my husband says I talk too much to be, be out there golfing. They said, you're supposed to talk, you know? It's not supposed to be something that you just sit and you, you know, yeah. swing and then wait. And so making it more fun and making it appealing to the younger generations. Yeah, it sounds a lot like Top Golf, those areas that you can go and play and it's more fun and you learn how to like drive, so. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. making right. it an experience, yes. which is the key word these days, an experience. Exactly, well thank you so much Casey for coming in and sharing this today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Casey along with photojournalist Tom Murrow will take you inside Austeds, the newly remodeled Austeds Golf in Sioux Falls and show you how Stanford Health is helping to grow new golfers to continue to feed the game and keep its popularity growing here in Sioux Falls. That's tonight's Ion Kelloland during the 10 o'clock news.